Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of 240Z Built By Me, and in this episode we're going to build the rotisserie. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, uh, there's my playlist up there, and I uh, hope you enjoy. So if you watched the last episode, I decided to build a rotisserie and then just send the whole thing to get blasted before I start any rust repairs. I went to go start making the bumper mounts for the rotisserie because the cars had a front end collision at some point. This bumper bracket mount is meant to be flush straight up and down and it was off on an angle. Um, I'll show you what I mean. So this is after I've um, put some heat into it and tried to shrink the area and tried to roll it a bit more, make it more radius. If you look at this picture up here in the corner, you'll notice that it was a lot more of a harsh turn. So it should be even more radius than this. So this is a stock undamaged section and you'll notice the difference. So what I was trying to do here was just make the bumper mount square to the body because um, as you could see from the photo, originally it was pointed outward on an angle. So here you can see where it's, there's a split right here. And on the other side of this is the uh, reinforcement plate for the bumper mount. So the impact has basically sheared it, sheared the sheet metal right there. So I'm going to have to weld this up a little bit just to put a little bit of strength back in it. And if you notice here, there's also damage to the radiator support panel. So here you can see that the wheel arch has um, been pushed into the radiator support panel. There's a lot of crinkling there. And then here the tubular section has been folded in half and is damaged. So we're going to start at the front end and the first thing we need to do is make up the mounts for where it's going to mount to, which is the bumper, bumper mounts. So for this project, I'm going to be using 65 by 65 by 3 mil square tubing. Um, what I've gone and done is cut out some 300 mil lengths and I've drilled the holes and bolted them into the bumper brackets. Now that's looking good. So what we're gonna do is I've got another 300 mil length here and that's gonna be welded on like that. And that's gonna be basically the bumper mount. So we'll, we'll just weld those on. So, little problem, little problem. I did not account for this. I think when I was measuring it up, I actually had this part level with the bottom here so that it would sit off and I've stuffed up. So I'm gonna have to redo that. So now I've redone these mounts. Um, I didn't have to redo this weld. I ended up just drilling holes on the other end because if I flipped it around, I can just reuse it again. These are the old holes. And now we clear the nose and it's going to slide up and down. So should be good to go. So I've gone through and I've made up these brackets of the 75 by 75 mil tubing. So these are gonna slide, be able to slide up and down and it's gonna allow the horizontal piece to slide back and forth just to adjust um, in the future if this goes on another car or whatever. And you're gonna be able to find the center of gravity easier. So I've just tucked these in at the moment. What's gonna happen is I've drilled holes in these sections and basically there's gonna be a jam nut there and tightening that's gonna secure the tubing that runs through it. So what I'm going to do now is weld up these jam nuts and then finish all the welds on these brackets and these brackets will be finished.
So I've gone ahead and cut the horizontal length, which is 1300 mil. And uh, I'm just gonna fit that. And I've also notched out the tubing that I'm using. So what I did was I notched this pipe out. This pipe is actually 75 mil, so it's slightly bigger than the tubing that I'm using. So I've notched it out to give it a bit of ex extra strength. Um, it's going to be a lot stronger than if I just cut it flush and welded it all the way around as there'd be a little gap because it's bigger. So now this is going to weld into here and it's just going to add a lot of strength. I actually lost the footage of me fabricating this piece, but I'm actually really happy with how my welding is coming along. I can soon start boasting about stacking dimes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start building the base of the rotisserie. I've gone and mocked everything up. This length here is 1500. This length is 1500 as well. And then this one I've made 820. And I've also scalloped uh, this upright beam so that the pipe fits in it. Nice and snug. This pipe here is a 90 outside diameter pipe and uh, I made that 225 mil. Before I weld everything together, I'm gonna to drill the holes for the caster wheels, and then I'm gonna tack everything, check, double check it, and weld it all together. to go I'm just going to weld the jam nuts on here so I can uh, lock the car when it's on the rotisserie and I'm going to put some extra supports on the three axis just to give it a bit of strength and then we'll be done and we can finish off these front mounts there's still a little bit more we need to do So I'll show you what I mean by more work to do on the front mount. So normally people just mount it straight into the bumper mounts and that's normally enough. Because mine's had an accident at the front, the front nose is a lot weaker I think than a stock one. Um, I'll show you what I mean when I try and apply force to the mount. So when I apply upward force, the, the bumper mount basically twists due to the weakness and that bolted in tight and now if I apply sideways force you can see how much that moves and I'm just moving that with one hand it's a lot of play so this is what I've come up with to um, strengthen the front mount I've um, added a bolt in point to the forward toe points so there's a toe hook on this side and on the other side for um, towing the car. I've bolted it into that. I've made it adjustable so that when I repair this front section and the bumper mounts are right, it's still going to be able to fit. And it's actually pretty strong. I'll, I'll show you the difference between the two. So this is side loading. Basically, I'm really putting a lot of force in that now. And you can see that it's not moving at all. So this is now applying upward force and as you can see, I'm able to lift the car and you get no movement whatsoever. So it's actually added a lot of strength and I'm really happy with how that came out. So I encountered a little problem on this side. All the bolts were rusted in. I tried to use easy outs, but they've all snapped off 
inside the bolt. So now I've decided um, what I did was I just drilled straight through um, with an M10 bit and I'm just gonna put an M10 through and um, bolt it up that way. I'm lucky enough that I have a massive rust hole right there. So try and move the light. Um, you can see the hole that I've made there, so I'll be able to get to that nut that I'm gonna bolt in because I've got a rust hole to go through basically. So I've added in this angle piece just to add a support. Uh, just to give this L piece a little bit of strength, this is what's going to be taking all the weight. So I don't want it moving outward. Just a little bit of extra strength. I wanted to do a rough assembly and start putting everything together. I'm really excited with how this is all turning out. It's going a lot better than I thought it was going to. My goal was to be able to mount this rotisserie while the car is still on the chassis jig and to be able to transfer the car back and forth with relative ease during the different phases of this build. After this mock-up, I'm pretty confident this has been achieved and I'm really happy with how things are turning out. So now what I've gone ahead and done is I've cut out the supports and these are 300mm long, um, cut at 45s and these are just going to go straight on there and they're going to support this upright. Um, this is upright is going to be taking all the load when the rotisserie's got the car on it. So we're just going to try and strengthen that with three braces and that should be plenty strong enough. We'll go ahead and weld these in, and once these are done, the front of the rotisserie is finished, and we can move on to the rear. So that's the front section of the rotisserie done guys. Um, in the next episode we're going to move on to the rear, so stay tuned.